From priceless artifacts to peculiar viruses and ancient frozen humans, hidden in the cold corners of our planet, unfathomable stories have emerged. These peculiar icy discoveries and unbelievable frozen items will leave you in awe. Join us in exploring the astonishing revelations of what they found frozen in ice that shocked the whole world. Twenty Siberian Ice Maiden This five-century female mummy, known by various names such as Ochibala, the Princess of Ukok, and the Altai Princess Davachka, was a remarkable discovery in a Kurgan in the Russian Republic of Altai. This mummy is associated with the Pazirik culture. Unearthed during an investigation led by archaeologist Natalia Viktorovna Polosmok and her team, the Ice Maiden's burial chamber on the Yukon Plateau in the summer of 1993 brought to light a captivating piece of history in a region often referred to as the second layer of heaven. Representing the Pazirik culture, thriving between the 6th and 2nd centuries BCE, the girl's untouched bones were found in an underground burial chamber, offering a unique insight into ancient customs. Transferred to a mausoleum at the Republican National Museum of Gorno Altaisk in 2012, the Ice Maiden's tomb chamber contained a coffin crafted from a solid larch wood trunk adorned with deer like images on leather. Estimated to be between 20 and 30 years old at the time of her death, a 2014 study revealed that breast cancer and injuries from a fall were the causes of her death. The discovery of cannabis nearby also suggested its potential use to alleviate her chronic pain. Her tattoos, headdress, and intricate burial attire added layers to the mystique surrounding this ancient figure, which had been preserved for over 2,400 years in a chamber sealed by water that froze into a massive block of ice. The remains of two soldiers with matching tattoos alongside the Ice Maiden hint at intriguing aspects of the Pazirik culture, where some believe tattoos signified status in life and the afterlife. 19. Himalayan Bone Pits The chilling discovery of frozen bone pits in the Himalayas, specifically in Rupkund Lake, nestled at 5,029 meters within the Trisul Massif, stands as one of the most intriguing findings attributed to climate change. Situated in the Indian state of Uttarakhand, this high-altitude glacial lake is surrounded by majestic, snow-covered peaks and rugged slopes, drawing hikers and visitors to its unique charm. As summer unfolds and the snow retreats, the lake's edges reveal a haunting sight. Hundreds of human skeletons scattered along its margins, with comparable remains resting at the lake's bottom. Forest ranger Hari Kishan Madwal made the initial discovery in 1942, leading to the belief that these skeletons might be the victims of a 9th century group caught in a severe hailstorm. However, further investigations unveiled a more complex history, revealing that the bones belonged to three distinct groups that perished in separate incidents. Initially suspected by the British administration as victims of a covert Japanese army invasion, the lake also yielded a trove of artifacts like clothes, rings, iron spearheads, and wooden objects. Unfortunately, visitors often take away bones as souvenirs, prompting authorities to intervene and protect this historical monument. The lake and its surroundings are now earmarked for ecotourism, preserving the mystique of Rupkund while safeguarding its archaeological significance. 18. Inca Children La Doncella, or the Inca Girl, is the preserved body of an ancient teenage girl who lived around 500 years ago. Unearthed by archaeologists in Argentina in 1999, her discovery has provided valuable insights into the past. Contrary to the idea that she died of natural causes, scientists, upon detailed examination, were shocked to reveal she had been a victim of ritual sacrifice in the Andes Mountains. Adorned in a distinctive headpiece and dressed in an antique traditional tunic, she wasn't alone on the ice. Two more mummified bodies belonging to children accompanied her. 
collectively known as the Children of Lulayako, these three youths were believed to be left atop the mountain as an offering to the gods. Succumbing to the harsh conditions, the trio eventually perished. Notably, they were found to have consumed corn liquor, perhaps to induce sleep. Fragments of coca leaves near the Inca girl's mouth indicated the Inca people's practice to alleviate altitude sickness. The revelation of these sacrificial offerings was both astonishing and captivating. Currently displayed at the High Country Archaeological Museum in Salta, Argentina, La Doncella's mummy is a tangible link to this intriguing chapter of history. At the same time, the bodies of the two other children remain stored for further analysis. 17. Plane Crash Victims In 1976, SATA Flight 232, piloted by a Vickers Viscount 785, disappeared while departing Ecuador. The flight, designed for 55 passengers and four crew members, took a difficult route due to the snow-capped Mount Chimborazo. It was deemed lost, and the crash site, located at a height of 5,310 meters in October 2002, indicated that everyone on board was presumed dead or missing. Fast forward nearly 30 years, mountain climbers Pablo Chiquiza and Flavio Armas stumbled upon the wreckage while exploring an alternate path to the Chimborazo volcano's peak. The official confirmation of the discovery came in February 2003, when a television network team ascended the volcano to capture footage of the wreckage. Amidst the debris, newspapers from the day of the disappearance and numerous human remains were found, each passenger carrying some form of identification. While the crash brought about a tragic end for the passengers, the discovery offered bittersweet closure for the friends and family of the dead. The knowledge of their fate although heart-wrenching, provided answers and a sense of closure that had long been elusive. The snow-covered site, which likely served as the final resting place for those who didn't survive, became a poignant reminder of a fateful event that had haunted families for decades. 16. Remains of Franklin Expedition Members one of history's best documented tragedies is the Franklin Expedition, led by Captain Sir John Franklin in 1845. Departing from England on the HMS Erebus and HMS Terror, the crew faced a disastrous outcome, becoming icebound in Victoria Strait while attempting to cross the Northwest Passage in the Canadian Arctic. Abandoning the ships in April 1846, after a year on the ice, around 20 officers, including Sir John Franklin, had perished. Captain James Fitz led the remaining soldiers towards the Canadian continent, disappearing without a trace, initially assumed to have perished in the tundra. However, three expedition members, John Torrington, William Brain, and John Hartnell, died shortly after the ship sailed and before it became trapped with their bodies buried under ice on Beachy Island in 1846. In 1984, archaeologists excavated the bodies, revealing astonishingly well-preserved corpses despite their gruesome appearance due to severely frostbitten skin, frozen wide eyes, and twisted faces. Forensic anthropologist Owen Beatty focused on John Torrington's mummified body, which became widely spread. Beatty's team unearthed Torrington's coffin, buried 1.5 meters below the permafrost's surface, revealing his preserved state upon opening it. Thawing the body with water, they discovered he had been very ill, standing at 5 feet 4 inches tall, extremely thin with visible ribs, and weighing only 38.5 kilos. A comprehensive autopsy and tissue samples unveiled the adverse effects of lead exposure on his health, exacerbating pneumonia and respiratory issues, and ultimately causing his death. This discovery later revealed the role of lead in the downfall of both the HMS Terror and HMS Erebus crews. 15. Ice Age Bison In the frozen expanses of Alaska's tundra in 1979, researchers stumbled upon an extraordinary find, a mummified steppe bison, which turned out to be an ancient relic dating back nearly 55,000 years. Astonishingly, this realization unfolded after a casual act of chopping off some meat from its neck and consuming it. Unbeknownst to them, this bison had died in a clash with an Ice Age predator, probably an American lion, as evidenced by tooth punctures on the skin and claw markings on its back. Fortuitously, the permafrost shielded the corpse, 
warding off scavengers. For over 55,000 years, this colossal creature remained frozen until 1979, when a group of explorers armed with a hydraulic mining hose embarked on an excavation mission. As the ice melted away, they unveiled a remarkably preserved specimen, its perfectly intact muscles, skin, and skeleton. Dale Guthrie, leading the excavation, seized the opportunity to share this ancient bounty. He chopped off a portion of the neck and treated eight guests to the well-preserved meat during a dinner party. Fondly named Blue Babe by Dale, the bison's journey continued as a Finnish taxidermist transported and prepared the body for display in Fairbanks a few years later. 14. 100 Stone In the frosty embrace of Anchorage, Alaska, a remarkable assembly of 68 life-sized sculptures graces the snow-covered coastline. Some gaze toward the vast sky, while others carry the weight of their stories with downcast eyes. These sculptures, portraying diverse human experiences, capture the essence of emotional trauma. Each figure is a tangible representation of someone who has faced the harsh realities of abuse, chronic or mental illnesses, military service, depression, or other profound life challenges. This expansive and poignant art installation results from a collaborative project known as 100 Stone, a profound creative endeavor spanning Alaska. The project aimed to connect with individuals impacted by emotional struggles and provide a visual manifestation of their collective narratives. While enduring the harsh Alaskan climate, characterized by freezing temperatures and relentless winds, several of these poignant figures haven't weathered well. Fortunately, dedicated volunteers have come forward to restore the damaged sculptures. 13. A Wolf Pup in 2016, a gold miner named Neil Loveless used a water cannon to break through a permafrost wall, hoping to uncover valuable diamonds or riches. To his surprise, he stumbled upon something unexpected, a mummified wolf cub. Rather than the anticipated treasures, Neil found the remains of a juvenile female puppy. In response, he placed the discovery in a freezer to await paleontologists' examination, given that it was midsummer. Upon investigation, researchers were amazed to find the entire body of the wolf cub intact, with only the eyes missing. Their study revealed that the puppy was approximately 57,000 years old, marking it as one of the oldest and most complete wolf bodies ever discovered. This finding proves instrumental in shedding light on how wolves might have traversed continents, including America, Europe, and Asia. 12. The Doomsday Seed Vault On the remote Norwegian island of Spitsbergen, a fascinating facility named the Svalbard Global Seed Vault serves as a secure backup for our planet's crop diversity. Designed to protect against potential seed loss due to various factors like poor management, mishaps, conflicts, and natural disasters, this vault stores duplicate seeds from global gene banks for long-term preservation. Established through a collaborative effort involving the Nordic Genetic Resource Center, the Crop Trust, and the Norwegian government, the vault was funded by the Norwegian government in 2008, costing an impressive $8.8 .8 million. Operational expenses are shared between the Crop Trust and Norway, with depositors not incurring charges for seed storage. Nestled 120 meters inside a secure sandstone mountain, the seed bank boasts a robust security system. Managed by the Nordic Genetic Resource Center, the facility benefits from Spitsbergen Island's stable conditions, including minimal tectonic activity and permafrost that aids seed preservation. Positioned 130 meters above sea level, the vault's location ensures the longevity of its contents, even if ice caps were to melt. Feasibility studies conducted before its construction suggested that this facility could safeguard major food crop seeds for hundreds of years, offering a crucial lifeline in the face of natural disasters or accidents that could threaten our species' food supply. Remarkably, certain grains stored here could remain viable for thousands of years. 11. Bedeloid rotifers. In a groundbreaking discovery, Russian researchers have managed to revive a rare species of creature that lay frozen for an astonishing 24,000 years in the Siberian permafrost. These resilient invertebrates, 
typically thriving in wet environments, were initially unearthed by Russian scientists who extracted a frozen soil core using a drilling rig in the Siberian tundra. This remarkable finding underscores the incredible ability of multicellular organisms to endure nearly complete metabolic arrest for tens of thousands of years in a state known as cryptobiosis. Recent radiocarbon research has revealed that the rotifers discovered are at least 24,000 years old, challenging previous beliefs that their viability might extend only up to 10 years in frozen conditions. Sometimes referred to as wheel animals, due to the ring of microscopic hairs encircling their mouths resembling a wheel, these tenacious creatures exhibit remarkable resilience against famine, low oxygen levels, freezing temperatures, and extended dry spells. Upon thawing, a clonal process known as parthenogenesis replicated the rotifer from the permafrost belonging to the Adeneta genus. While this scientific feat is awe-inspiring, some skeptics question the wisdom of reviving this ancient species. What are your thoughts on this remarkable journey back in time? 10. Mammoth Tusk Glaciers In the remote expanses of Russia, a fascinating phenomenon is unfolding known as the Mammoth Gold Rush, triggered by the thawing Russian permafrost. Extinct mammoth remains, particularly their coveted tusks, are being unearthed in this distant region. The global trade in mammoth, which is currently unregulated, is thriving, with the tusks holding significant value. Searching for and selling these tusks is entirely legal in Russia, contributing to the emergence of a lucrative industry. Teams annually embark on expeditions to excavate remnants of woolly mammoths buried beneath the permafrost. Living off beef noodles and vodka in improvised tents, they engage in an illegal enterprise by forcefully extracting mammoth bodies, causing harm to the ancient finds in the process. Unfortunately, the greed driving these hunters to extract tusks destroys valuable evidence of ancient life on Earth. 9. Forest under a glacier Beneath the Mendenhall Glacier in southern Alaska, an ancient forest has emerged into the light after being frozen for over a thousand years. Trees and logs are now visible as they protrude from the glacier, a phenomenon observed by researchers at the University of Alaska Southeast in Juneau. Some trees have resurfaced in their original upright position, while others still retain roots and portions of bark. Scientists are excited about the opportunity to examine the outermost parts of the trees and determine their age at the time of freezing. The trunk sizes indicate that these trees are likely spruce or hemlock. Geology professor Kathy Connor believes that a gravel tomb safeguarded the trees from the advancing glacier over a millennium ago. The layer of gravel, four to five feet thick, concealed the trees until the glaciers eventually advanced, revealing this ancient forest's remarkable story. 8. Frozen Bear and Its Curb Recently, scientists made an astonishing discovery in Siberia, a baby bear trapped in an ice wall and a fully preserved cave bear. After analysis, the specimen was determined to be at least 39,000 years old. This find is exceptional, as until now, only the remains of extinct species and subspecies from Eurasia had been uncovered. The two bears were initially found in 2020 by reindeer herders on a secluded island at different dig sites. Remarkably, the permafrost has preserved the soft tissue of the adult bear for tens of thousands of years, and Russian experts are optimistic about potentially extracting the Ice Age predator's DNA. Similar to the efforts with the woolly mammoth, there is likely a desire to bring this ancient bear back to life. A scientist asserts that this is the first and only bear carcass with soft tissues ever discovered, and she is correct. The organs are all intact, and the corpse is remarkably undamaged. Even the bear's nose appears to be intact in the photos. The specimens are now headed to Russia's Northeastern Federal University for further examination. 7. Luba the Mammoth in May 2007, Yuri Kudi, a reindeer hunter, and his three sons stumbled upon the exceptionally preserved remains of a mummified woolly mammoth on the ice-covered Yuribe Riverbank in Russia's Arctic Yamal Peninsula. Intent on donating the mummified bones to a local museum, the family faced an obstacle when a greedy relative sold the remains without their knowledge. 
Fortunately, experts identified the buyer, ensuring the recovery of the remarkably well-preserved mammoth. Preliminary investigations revealed that the mammoth, now named Luba, meaning love, in Russian, perished from freezing approximately 40,000 years ago. Detailed tests on Luba's body revealed that she was a mere one to two months old at the time of her demise. The scientists speculate that she likely succumbed to asphyxia in the mushy river muck, evident from CT scans showing a significant amount of muck in her mouth, trachea, and trunk. The undamaged fat hump on the infant mammoth regulated her body temperature. Subsequent tissue samples obtained during an endoscopy indicated she had consumed her mother's milk and feces. Scientists propose that rather than freezing where discovered, the river's water and ice carried her body here as it eroded from the permafrost. 6. Antarctic King In a fascinating study published in the journals of vertebrate paleontology, scientists unearthed a fossil dating back approximately 250 million years, revealing an ancestor of the fearsome dinosaurs, known scientifically as Antarctinax shackletoni, but commonly referred to as the Antarctic King. This creature shares ancestral ties with crocodiles and dinosaurs. Comparable to a modern-day iguana, it pays homage to the 20th century explorer Ernest Shackleton, who named the Transantarctic Mountains on the Antarctic continent the very place where this species was first discovered in the Fremu Formation. Brandon Peacock made an exceptional find during the 2010 to 2011 Antarctic Expedition, uncovering a remarkably well-preserved fossil of Antarctinax shackletoni. Believed to have roamed the Earth during the Triassic era, the fossils included legs, feet, vertebrae, and ribs. As a carnivore, this creature thrived when Antarctica was part of the supercontinent Pangaea, just before the end Permian mass extinction. Intriguingly, the species belonged to the Archosaur reptile group, which defied the decline seen in other species, experiencing a surge in population just before the catastrophic extinction event that wiped out 70% of life on Earth. The mystery surrounding why these archosaurs survived and thrived during this mass extinction continues to captivate paleontologists. The secrets behind their resilience remain elusive, adding extra intrigue to this ancient enigma. 5. Ancient Giant Virus In 2014, a groundbreaking university study led by Chantal Abeshkel and Jean-Michel Claverie unveiled the largest virus known to humanity, now recognized as the Pithovirus cybericum. Despite its microscopic size, scientists have identified it as the largest virus ever encountered by humans, surpassing the previously discovered Pandora virus by almost 50%. Buried 30 meters below the surface of late Pleistocene soil, the Pithovirus cybericum amazed scientists by remaining active after millennia in permafrost. Experiments exposing amoeba samples from riverbanks confirmed the virus's potency as the amoeba succumbed to infection. The resilience of this virus, enduring the harsh tundra temperatures for thousands of years, raises concerns among scientists about the potential discovery of other dangerous microbes with the melting ice, despite the relief that it does not infect humans directly. 4. Andre Expedition Many a mission to reach the planet's most remote regions has vanished, leaving an air of mystery in its wake. Among these, Andre's Arctic Balloon Expedition, once shrouded in enigma, came to light in 1930 during the Norwegian Bratvog Expedition's exploration of the glaciers and seas of the Svalbard archipelago. This elusive venture had been lost to history until a stroke of luck during an unusually warm summer allowed the Bratvog team to set foot on the unreachable island of Kvitoya. Past attempts to reach the island had been thwarted by dense fog and ice, rendering it impervious to contemporary ships. Behind the icy curtain, the Bratvog expedition made a historical discovery. The remnants of the ill-fated 1897 balloon mission led by André. This daring venture, undertaken by three intrepid crew members, sought to conquer the North Pole aboard a hydrogen balloon. 
Fate intervened only two days after liftoff, causing the balloon to crash. Astonishingly, the crew survived the fall, but faced the daunting challenge of navigating treacherous terrain back to civilization, ill-equipped and inadequately clothed. The relics uncovered by the Bratbog expedition included the ship, a logbook, and two skeletons perfectly preserved by the unforgiving ice. 3. Lake Vostok In 1996, scientists made an intriguing discovery using artificial seismic waves and ice-penetrating radar, a pristine freshwater lake beneath the icy surface. Lake Vostok, nestled approximately 4 kilometers beneath the East Antarctic ice sheet, stands out as the world's oldest and purest lake, untouched by human interference. This hidden gem is one of the 70 lakes identified beneath the Antarctic ice sheet. Dating back almost 5,000 years, Lake Vostok may harbor microbes with a unique gene pool, preserving an ancient snapshot of Antarctica's lush landscapes. Lake Vostok ranks among the largest lakes globally, covering an expansive 10,000 square kilometers. Its sheer size contributes to its significance, with dimensions measuring 48 kilometers in width and 235 kilometers in length, and a depth plunging to 914 meters. While scientists consider Lake Vostok a prime candidate for research, there's an ongoing debate about preserving its pristine waters to avoid accidental harm to this natural wonder. What are your thoughts on granting scientists access to Lake Vostok and the mysterious organisms hidden within its depths? 2. George Mallory In the thrilling world of mountaineering during the 1920s, George Herbert Lee Mallory, a skilled English mountaineer, was one of the three intrepid British explorers to conquer Everest. George and his expedition partner, Andrew Irvine, mysteriously disappeared on the northeast ridge of the formidable peak during the 1924 expedition. The duo's fate remained a perplexing mystery for an astonishing 75 years, as they were last sighted about 800 vertical feet below the summit. Then, on May 1, 1999, the world was rocked by the devastating news that a study team on a mission to recover the climber's remains had discovered Mallory's body. Perched on the peak's north face at approximately 26,760 feet, Conrad Anker of the Mallory and Irvine Research Expedition stumbled upon a frozen body. The investigators, initially attributing it to Irvine due to its location below where Irvine's axe had been found in 1936, were astonished to find it was Mallory upon examining the name tags. The well-preserved body yielded a fascinating array of personal items, including a brass altimeter, a lamb's foot pocket knife with a stag handle and a leather slipcase, snow goggles, and a letter and bill from a London-based climbing equipment supplier. Returning to the location in 2002, the study team discovered their previous camp, but could not locate the camera they had brought for photography. In the realm of mountaineers, Mallory is celebrated as a legendary figure. 1. An Arrow from the Iron Age in a thrilling discovery, researchers from the Secrets of Ice Glacier Archaeology program in the Norwegian county Inland stumbled upon an ancient arrow carefully nestled between rocks. Imagine the scene. As the ice thawed, this artifact made its way down the slope, revealing itself after being encased in a frozen block for centuries. Brimming with excitement, the team shared the arrow's intriguing characteristics in a Facebook post via the Secrets of Ice. Despite the wear and tear evident in the arrow, skilled craftsmanship and ingenious preservation techniques such as using tar to piece it together showcased the remarkable efforts of ancient artisans. The scientists, engaging in some archaeological detective work, speculated that the arrow might have experienced cycles of exposure and refreezing before finally appearing. The program's archaeologists shed light on their extensive findings, disclosing the unearthing of more than 200 arrows from the ice in the county. Astonishingly, these artifacts are estimated to be around 6,000 years old, providing a captivating glimpse into ancient hunting practices. 
this particular arrow, boasting an intact arrowhead and visible traces of pitch and sinew, stands out as a superbly preserved specimen. While many arrows retain their integrity, missing only the remnants of their shafts, the sheer abundance points to this location as a significant hunting ground. As the team mused over the possibility of missed shots by ancient hunters, they highlighted the serendipity for modern archaeologists. Every lost arrow turned out to be a bullseye for uncovering valuable insights into the past. Which of these chilling discoveries shocked you the most? Let's hear your comments in the section below and stay tuned for more intriguing insights. Until next time, keep exploring.